Cities attempting to crack down on drag racing by taking away the cars or those believed to be responsible. Council members taking steps after videos posted over the weekend show vehicles doing donuts in the West Loop. So Jan's Brona Tumulty is there now with the details for us. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, you can still see the marks on the ground here behind me at the intersection where those vehicles were spinning in circles early on Sunday morning, surrounded by a large group of people. Now, a new ordinance going forward would allow police to impound the vehicles they suspect of pulling off stunts like this without the owner of those vehicles even being present. This was the scene early Sunday morning at the intersection of South Clinton and West Monroe, as those above were trying to sleep. I heard a lot of screeching. It was like real loud. It woke me out of my sleep. And this lady, who didn't want to be identified, lives nearby and says the noise was intense prior to police trying to clear the crowd. I've been thinking of moving from this area anyway because it's getting kind of... It's getting kind of crazy around here too, so I'm looking to move soon. The officers managed to disperse those gathered, only for things to later rev up again about a mile away. Around 4.20 a.m. in the 1100 block of South Canal Street, police responded to reports of drag racing and fireworks being thrown from a parking garage. An officer was struck by one of them, prompting the arrest of a 17-year-old now facing a felony charge of aggravated assault. A similar scene playing out in Portage Park about two weeks ago when an officer Officer was treated for minor injuries after his squad car was reportedly attacked. Now the city is trying to put the brakes on this kind of behaviour. The Pedestrian and Traffic Safety Committee greenlighting an ordinance today which would allow police to impound vehicles they believe have been involved in drifting or drag racing. Led by Alderman Brendan Riley, it passed unanimously. We worked a lot with Alderman Riley, who was the chief sponsor uh, of that ordinance to make sure that we had one that was um, in compliance with um, the city laws and it really um, gave the police department an opportunity to be successful in shutting these things down. The mayor also making reference today to previous problems with vehicles on Lower Wacker and how this has long been an issue for Chicago. One of those cars spins out of control, a whole crowd could be taken out. Now, we did reach out to Alderman Riley today for an interview. He was not available to do that due to a packed schedule. This ordinance now goes to a full city council vote on Wednesday. We're live in the loop. Rona Tumulty, WGN News.